I don't think there was anything cooler in basketball this weekend than everything happening in Sacramento. Tony hadn't seen uh, light the beam. He had. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen in sports. It's awesome. I obviously the Kings play usually at a very late time. We have to wake up early for the show. <laughs> I'm not usually sticking around for Kings games. They've been good this season. Historic offensively. I've never seen them light the beam. Dan, the Golden One Center was incredible. The beam goes to space. Yes, it's crazy. And Mike Sure has been trying to tell us he was out in front on. Look at him. Look how frustrated he is. You were so right, Mike. Uh, yes, that the Sacramento Kings, everything about the Kings, is on and in. we're all confused by it. How could we not be? It's been, it is really hard, given how many teams make it in that sport to the playoffs, to go 17, I, 16 years without going to the playoffs. I went to Sacramento. I did a live report about a Sacramento Kings game on this show and told you all how... This was the most exciting thing in basketball, and you should all pay attention. And just now, Tony in the playoffs is like, hey, cool things happening in Sacramento. I've been hammering this drum. Tony was right. For months. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. You were, uh, and I'm guessing, given that you were hammering this drum and you're an egomaniac, I'm guessing you enjoyed Sacramento beating Golden State more than you enjoyed what the Celtics did to the Hawks. I knew the Celtics were going to win game one against the Hawks. Come on. Who cares? But everyone, everyone outside of the Sacramento Kings fan base and me, including some unnamed so-called basketball experts who are sitting in that studio with you right now, thought the Golden State Warriors were going to win that game. They thought they were going to sweep the series. <laughs> I had Bill Simmons on one side saying, oh, as soon as Steph gets in, he's going to snatch their souls away. I've got Amin Al Hassan over here, who, by the way, he and I would have been at that game yeah. if it weren't for his uh, sort of foolish commitment to his family and children and their youth sports uh, that they play uh he he basically he screwed me over let's <laughs> let's call it what it is he screwed me over we were gonna go to the game and then he was like sorry my daughter my 12 year old daughter has a basketball game hmm. so uh, we could have been there we could have been there to watch that beam get lit i will i will point is every everyone everyone thought the warriors are gonna win that game everyone i was the only one who stood fast and said no Tonight we light the beam. I won't lie, Mike. I was watch when I'm watching the game. I'm like, man, it would have been fun to be there. Like it just seemed, <laughs> it seemed so crazy, man. It seemed fun, but I like, come on, man, hold on for a second. Like you were not sitting there all confident that the Kings were gonna win. I 100 percent was the whole time. You're watching Steph hit shots that are hitting the ceiling, and you're like, ah, lucky shot. All I all I thought was, oh, that's gonna make it even tougher on <laughs> Steph and Clay when they lose this game because they came so close. What <laughs> second place to atmosphere on? Because I couldn't believe how loud it was, how obvious it was. It like Sacramento's always been loud. Mm -hmm. Back going to Stoyakovich and Weber and those teams, but. This what I what I heard coming through my television is not something I'm used to hearing at all. Amin didn't think they would be that loud because there would be I Warriors didn't fans. There. I, he thought I they didn't would be that. more Warrior fans than King they, fans they, there. I, I didn't did say to answer your question. What he didn't account for was security racially profiling E40. I did say that. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, uh, this is I. This is God bless this show and God bless the people who listen to it, but. You gotta work on your listening skills, everybody. I'm not. This is not the fans. It's not the fans' fault. This is you guys too. Mm -hmm. You guys hear something completely different from what I said. What I said was there's going to be a contingent of Warriors fans in the building. And by the way, if you watch the second half, uh, excuse me, the first half when Steph's hitting these crazy shots, it didn't sound like. Look, I've been in a lot of arenas. I've seen when a great team that doesn't have any support in the building, what that sounds like. For instance, during the finals, Cavs versus Warriors, that crowd was decidedly a Cavs crowd. When Steph would do Steph things, you would hear groans, you would, oh, like gasps. In Sacramento, you heard, ah, because they're there. I didn't say it would be most of them. I didn't say it would be a, a, a large portion of the crowd. I said there's going to be Warriors fans there that are ready to get, go crazy when things happen, and they did, but... Obviously, the Kings fans, because their team played well, had an amazing comeback, won the game. There may, of course they there, went there, nuts. There may have been Warriors fans there. I will again say that I didn't feel anything this weekend that felt like what was coming through my television when Sacramento was playing basketball. So I, I talked to I, – I spoke to a couple people who were there. I said, how loud was it? Oh, it was crazy. It was incredibly loud. 
I said, louder than Oracle at the beginning? And they're like, not quite that loud. Louder than Cleveland during those finals? Not quite that loud. But loud and crazy. So Phoenix was loud and crazy in the finals in 2021. And everyone was like, what a great atmosphere. Yeah, some of this is just, I haven't had any in a long time. And this is the first time I'm having some. And oh my God, it's amazing. Of course there's going to be that energy. Who are these people that have an inventory of loudness that they can go back like three years and remember, well, it was almost there, but it wasn't quite there. Billy, they're called experts. They're people who go to games for a living. You're talking to one. Yeah, but they're not experts on loudness. You're I mean, Billy is right. An inventory of loudness. Is I've got an inventory of loudness. You're a decibel expert? Like, get out of here. I'm a decibel expert. <laughs> He was at he was at Clippers Suns yesterday. Yeah. He's out there covering these games. He's grinding. Grinding. I, I know, man. I, I have levels to this. I have ranks and stuff. I'll give you a great example. The Knicks won uh, a road playoff game for the first time in whatever, however many me- millions of years or whatever. Mm-hmm. In 2012. And what's that? I think it was 2012. 2012. Don't yeah. interrupt yeah. him. But it's felt no, like oh, no, a million it was, years. It yeah. was, no, it, what it was was the – to lead a series, to win game one on the road of a playoff series. They haven't done that since 1999, and I knew it was 1999 because that was against Atlanta. I went to those games in Atlanta, games one and two. They swept the Hawks, and when I tell you, when I tell you that building sounded like Madison Square Garden, like that, I know that. It's, it's, it jumps out to you, right? Obviously, there are levels to this. So Sacramento, last night, incredible. What Dan said, you're absolutely right. Of, of all the games, eight games this weekend, that one had the best atmosphere that came through as a viewing experience. But is it all time? I mean, guys, come what's on. Uh, What's best for the West? Is it Lakers, Warriors, in the Western oh, Conference Finals? Uh, yes. Uh, wait, hold on. Hey, Adam Silver on line one. Would you like uh, LeBron versus Steph one more time? Mm, let me think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> start of the day, start of the day, it is the start of the day. What happened? Start of the day, start of the day, it is the start of the day. Start of the day, start of the day, it is the start of the day. Start of the day, start of the day, it is the start of the day. What did happen? No idea. Was just, uh, Amin was just talking too long about... Yeah, I, I got annoyed and just hit the stat of the day music because I was tired of him just Dan talking. has the Dan, controls Dan, now, yeah. Dan has the controls oh, now, no, so really? he'll be able to passive-aggressively just shut people up with imaging, but he doesn't have a fader, so it's not great. And he asks questions and then gets mad at answers, I guess. Yeah. I just long winded. Sons Warriors, just, just perhaps, normal, perhaps, I know you got your toys, but normal workflow here, Just Papa. long-winded It wasn't long-winded answers. at all. This is a terrible idea to give Dan the controls. Mm-hmm. Let me it just is. say right now, I predict disaster. I should have them. There you go. Gotcha. All right. I guess we're doing the stat of the day. Oh, my God. What go ahead, that? Mike. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just keep it moving. <laughs> New studio <laughs> week, Mike. I mean. Uh, yeah, I know. This yeah. is, I don't know. I, I gotta, this is going to take a while to get used to this vibe. Yeah. Jessica hasn't even talked yet. I feel like she feels trapped between Mike and Tony. I still don't even know how, kind of. Jessica's a middle earth. (laughs) (laughs) There's going to be some transition. (laughs) There's a hundred different camera angles. How many cameras do you have? A lot of cameras. cameras. I look bad in all of them, too. (laughs) That's the main reason I haven't talked. All these raking two shots going across. Hey. Yeah. Just give us the <laughs> goddamn stat of the day. We're podcast you hit that sound first and foremost, hey, right? You, uh, you just hit the sa- There was no wind up. There was none of your usual preamble. You just hit the sound. Yeah. I'm a little thrown. Uh-huh. But fine. Here's your stat of the day. Thank you. Dan, after Sacramento Kings game, if the Kings win, they light a beam. If they lose... They don't light any beams. Do you know, Dan, how many beams were lit after game one of the Western Conference playoffs against the Warriors? I would have no idea. I would assume one. That's right. They lit the goddamn beam. 
<laughs> one giant goddamn beam was lit after the Sacramento Kings game one against the Warriors. Do you know that the last Kings playoff win, Dan, 102-84 over the Spurs, April 30th, 2006, Keegan Murray was five. <laughs> <laughs> At that box score will have some funny names on it, right? The 2006 playoff box let, score. Let me see if I can name some. Bonzi Wells. Wait. Can oh, we get you don't have okay. to look right. it up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> by, by the way, what if the uh, the beam is what leads to an alien invasion? I was thinking about that. Right. What is the beam really, Mike? Do you have an answer for that? Like, is it just a huge? Is it a light? laser? It's like, light. what is it? <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, a very bright of light. <laughs> what, it's a declaration what is, what of war. It? It's a declaration is. of war on the aliens. You guys are afraid that the Sacramento Kings are going to bring us to intergalactic apocalypse. Dan, it's going to space. I don't think you understand this beam. It is like I don't think you understand this. Beam. <laughs> I, I saw it. What do you mean I don't understand it? <laughs> that well, if the Luxor in Vegas hasn't yet brought us. War, I don't think the beam in Sacramento is going to bring it. I like the idea that there's aliens up there, and every once in a while they look out their window and they're like, oh, Kings won. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I got the box score. If Whatever wanted, happened to those beams that they did back in the day that would, like, when there was, like, a big movie opening or whatever. crossing like, spotlights. Yeah, that's how they would get you they to still come. Do that. I miss those. They still do that outside of clubs. Really? I don't think that, it, does that. Yeah, I guess that's a beam, but it's just spotlights. I think going Eleven has forth. one of those. It makes you right? feel like something big's going on. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, this will be good audio here. You just sure. get names on this box score. Go ahead. Bonzi Wells. Yeah. Yep. Ron Artest. No. No Ron Artest? Oh, it, Artest oh, is oh, on there. Yeah. Metal World, Metal World Peace. Peace. Metal yeah. World Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies. Uh, Mike Bibby. Mm-hmm. Uh, These aren't the funny ones, though. I want the obscure ones. I want the Benjamin. You want Potapenko. Vitaly Potapenko. You want Corliss Williamson. You You want Sharif Abdur Rahim. Oh, Sharif. Jason Hart. He's playing the game correctly. (laughs) You're giving me stars. You want Nazi Muhammad. (laughs) You want Nesterovich. Oh, on the Spurs. I was like, Nazi didn't play that. (laughs) Thank you, Mike. We will talk to you tomorrow. All right.